Welcome. This is the Lord of Sin. This is episode two of the Star Traders Let's Play. And we are picking back up right where we left off with the Sin's Let's Play on Star Traders Elite. And so let's go ahead and continue this game. And when we left off, we had just uh, obviously done uh, one of the con or tried to try to do a contract and failed miserably at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here. Um, and if you notice, I've obviously changed a couple things around. There's no more annoying fan in the background. Um, I also now have it to where you can see uh, my, you know, my cursor moving, or not necessarily my cursor, my finger moving around. Uh, let's go back here. I also was asked politely not to read everything off, but basically explain, you know, in thought process of what I'm currently doing. Now, I want to show you that based on this, um, my, my ship and ship morale from all my crew is still quite high and I have not lost any health but we do need to buy some water fuel because if we're gonna try to do any more missions it's not gonna work out nearly as well as I'd hope it would so let's go ahead and go into urban um, before we do anything else we're gonna go to exchange and we're gonna buy some water fuel now we're currently at four and I want to have at least 15 uh, and it's going to be different for each person, obviously. Not everybody's going to want to have, you know, so few. I don't want to necessarily do so much on uh, 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 trading, per se, yet. I want to try to do some more, you know, try to get some contracts under our belt so that we can start building rank you know, or ranking up into it. I'm going to go back to the palace here, and we're going to pick up another contract. All right, so we're going to just basically, this is a pretty simple courier mission. We're going to get a secure data pad, and then we're going to, you know, transport that data pad to another location. Um, so we're going to accept that offer, and we're going to go back out. I don't believe we need any need any repairing. No, we do not need to repair anything. Okay, so we're going to come back out. And we're going to go to the location that we need to go to, which is right here. Now, I moved forward just so that I could show where it was at. I don't remember where it says that we have to go. But, uh, oh. Alright, so this is for Syndicate Reichert. Reichert and uh, they are stopping us for inspection. Um, yeah, let's go back out here. We're yeah, and Kadar. No, they're in a solar war there. All right, so let's go ahead and surrender because we have nothing to lose. They cannot find the data pad either, so we've acknowledged them that they were were in their airspace. They found nothing. We're free to move on and return to the ship. And apparently, we're dropping this off at the Star Dock. So we're going to deliver this, and we've completed a contract, and we're good to go. While we're here, though, let's go ahead and go into Urban. We're acknowledging them that they, they're they level merchants. I should have actually looked through that a little bit better. Typically try to get through these as quickly as possible. All right, so Spice Hall. Uh, let's just entertain them just to have... That's a weird, uh, weird typo as well. I don't know why it's not showing the apostrophe there all right so uh, let's see we are going to go to the exchange we're going to grab some more water fuel and since we're here let's see they have a lot of spice uh, they don't have very many crystals let's see they have quite a lot of space i'm hoping that i'm actually going to get a de good deal on this and we're only going to put five here. And notice the, the artifacts, the weapons, the electronics. Those are all um, locked out, typically. I am going to try to see if they'll let me buy any of these. Um, yeah, I guess they will. We're going to buy those records. Um, we're buying them for pretty some pretty decent sum of money, so hopefully we can get back and and be able to sell those. As a matter of fact, let me pick up some more spice while we're here. Better just load it all the way up. And then we're going to go back to our home 
uh, plant it so that we can get it done. Pretty sure that that was it. Can't remember for certain. All right. It's a pirate skiff. We, uh, as for the Kadar Syndicate, we're going to ignore them and keep going. Just because I don't want to have to deal with any pirates right now. And this is Devolto's Prime. So we're home. We're going to go to Urban. And we're going to go to Exchange as well at the same time. We're going to take a little bit of a... Can't remember if we bought what we bought them at. Oh, well, we're gonna sell them. Sell them all, I say. And we didn't get much money. As a matter of fact, I think we lost a tiny bit on that trade, but oh well. And they only buy them. Oh, they do buy them for five thousand. All right, so that's a little bit more money back in our pockets, and that's gonna help out quite a bit. We didn't take any damage, so we're good there. Let's go back into the palace and let's take, let's see what rumors we've got. Uh, the prince reaches out to one of the court assistants. Alien attacks in deep space. New. No. Right, contracts. This one's a little bit more difficult. Uh, this is a blockade. Basically, we need to kind of babysit an area in space and prevent anybody from getting into us. They're only paying us 8,504 credits for this and we should be able to get this done pretty fast. So, we are going to plot this course. We're going to go there. It's over this way and it's right here at Klandra, at uh, the Java at Homeworld, I think it was. All right. This one only can take a little bit longer. So notice we have status and blockade and everything else, right? Before we do this, I'm actually going to go into training here. We've got 10 experience that we can build up. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it into... Um, let's see here. Go into pilot. And we're going to get some to stealth. Alright. And maybe a little bit into strength. I think that was all 10. No, we only have one left. Okay, it was three each. I'm gonna complete or try to do the blockade. So now we're in their space for Klan Javit. Um, she's coming around for an attack. And I believe that we are going to. We're going to battle stations. Let's see here. This is where it starts getting booked. And that's why this is a tactical tactical game, because it depends on what you want to do. I should probably not have done this, but oh well. What am I going to lose? Hit him with the torpedo. And now their engines are pretty, pretty damaged. So I'm going to advance in. And now we're even closer to them than they are. And you know what? We're going to advance one more. We're going to take their engines out. And we don't have to do anything with them. It's the same same style uh, ship as what we have. We did take a little bit of damage on our sails, though, over here, as you can see. Fortunately, I can't do a highlight, but you can see right where it's at. Got it done. But because we did not destroy their ship like we did with that other one in the last episode, um, we are going to... We're going to... You know what? We're going to enslave them. Because I'm a ruthless, ruthless bastard. We're going to rearm our torpedoes. And then we're going to take all their cargo. So I looted as much as I possibly could there. Other ship has nothing left. And we've looted everything from them. We're going to go to done. And we're just going to leave them afloat. We're not even going to salvage their ship because that really, really, really gets it off. We just, and that's basically you salvage or auctioning the, the vessel off to a salvage guild, an independent salvage guild. And if you look here, we get, you know, some money for it. But believe me, it is not worth, worth the area. I mean, you're already, I'm, I'm already going to be a little bit uh, lower on their reputation scale because I've already attacked one of their ships. 
Sector one has been blockaded for a week. You extract three hundred dollars. It's still not fat. It's not long enough for me as far as how the those come up. That's a cool looking ship. The Dagger Dragon. And this is for Clan Javit. She's coming around to attack. And we are considered now a brigand. We have lowered a little bit. Uh, we've got a little lower. This is a bounty hunter. Uh, they want to search us. And I say no. We are not going to be searched. We are going to torpedo them. Yeah. Because why not? Let's see. Let's advance. And let's shoot them with the gun a little bit more. They have really decent engines. They really do. Let's shoot them with a torpedo again. Their sails. Man, their engines are so crazy. That is a really nice ship, actually. Hit them with the gun again. Oh, he advanced in on us. So you know what? We're going to... Ooh. He's not running on us. We're going to board him. Party boarded the Dagger Dragon and inflicted five damage, taking zero damage during the battle. The Dagger, dagger opened but missed. The enemy captain was wounded in a duel and killed. So, there is no more enemy captain here. That's a really nice ship. Too bad I can't, I can't take that ship. But, I can. Oh, I can take that ship if I really want. But I'm going to lose more hold if I take that ship, even though it has some seriously crazy engines. Those are some really, really fast agility. Comparatively, yeah, we lose 10, 10 cargo shot uh, uh, slots. And we use, lose 2 torpedo slots. Um, wow. Wow. Has better guns than... Oh, no, we have slightly better guns. And we have more crew available on ours. And they do have slightly better sails and slightly better engines. But... And tiny bit better armor than what we've got. And their hull is roughly the same. Yeah, the same as ours. Sorry, I wanted to compare and contrast on that. Alright, so what we are going to do is we are going to enslave. And then we are going to take all of their cargo. Not enough cargo space to loot the vodka. Alright, let's do one more blockade here. We're just going to acknowledge them so that we don't even have to. Yeah, they're just merchants. Going through and blockade again. And what is this? This is a heavy patrol. Alright, torpedo them. Torpedo them. And they are almost completely disabled. We're going to move in. No, it won't let me advance, huh? Alright, well. Hit him with the guns. Advance and board. And the enemy captain was killed in a duel. I don't think we're going to be able to take anything from them. Hmm, 10 able-bodied, we're going to take those two, and take whatever we can, apparently not enough to loot, the electronics would have been awesome, would have been so awesome, 13 luxury rations though, that's not too shabby, oh, I want those weapons, oh, those electronics, metals are pretty decent though too. All right, so we're going to get rid of the vodka. And we're going to pick up at least two more of those. Only because it does not hurt. I mean, I can I can I can take the electronics and make more money once I once I get back to back home. All right, and we're just going to leave them afloat like that. No ships were found. As soon as I'm done with this blockade, we are going to finish this episode, but I wanted to be able to show you guys some, some interesting different types of uh, missions that are available in here. 
Now you do not have to attack every single time. Oh! He ran off. Our ships were found. Alright, we're attempting the job finally. And 450 credits there as well. It's been on a planet many weeks of military control may be required. We completed that contract. And a hostility between House the Luna and Java has gone into a civil war. Really quickly, let's go back home. And before we go in there, let's get some experience. Oh, four crew dying, die trying to collect ice. So you see, this is not exactly, you know... <laughs> It's it's not a very pretty game in the long run. There's a lot of things that can happen very badly and very quickly. Um, it, it's pretty fun just because of that, though. I mean, I cannot lie. I still haven't taken any damage that I know of. Um, so, you know what? I'm not going to actually do my up, up, upgrade right now. We are going to... We're going to acknowledge them that we are in their... In their oh, they're smugglers, too. So they're not coming after us. Um, before I sell... We are going to do a solar sail repair. And we don't need to upgrade the craft or anything else. What's in the military base? Oh, we do need to buy some torpedoes. And... Can we repair armor? Oh! Purchase the armor. Adamantium plating. Power of Wolverine at our disposal. All right, so we're gonna come back out here, go to the exchange, and you see we haven't made a whole lot of money here, but we can get rid of some of these rations and go back down to five there. We can go to the metals, which these are all free in that regard because we've already had them. We the weapons we are going to. Sell those for uh, 672 each. And the electronics, that's the big money. That's why I said I wanted the electronics because look at this, 1,062 each. And we're now up to 35,386 credits. I'm probably going to get rid of this one as well just so I've already got it done. All right, so now we have a decent amount of money to go into episode three with. This has been the Lord of Sin. This game is... Oh, hold on. Before I do that, let's go into the Spice Hall. And let's recruit some people. Four new people join. We're going to entertain those people. And we're going to buy them a round of Spice. I know they've been entertained enough. Thanks for his mate. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. This has been the Lord of Sin. This has been... Um, Star Traders RPG Elite. Please do not hesitate to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for all the support.